Happy Friday. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to be a part of this devotion with me. As you probably recall, on Fridays, we take a brief glimpse at our upcoming gospel reading for the weekend. This coming weekend, we are inside of a parable in Matthew chapter 22. So here is a tiny slice of that parable. Matthew 22, verse 5, goes like this. But they paid no attention and went off, one to his farm, another to his business. Here's the larger context that you'll hear this weekend. Jesus is inside of a fairly long parable called the parable of the wedding feast. Inside that parable, a feast is being sent, being provided for the king's son. And he sends out invitations for all these folks to come and celebrate. And here's what struck me about that brief little verse. Matthew 22, verse 5. It struck me that some people don't heed the invitation for what probably seems to us like very responsible reasons. Notice the two things that are mentioned. One went to his farm, the other went to his place of business. Those are really responsible things to do. Go take care of your vocation. They have work to do. And what that struck me as, this is probably on my mind because we're inside the Ten Commandments with our junior high confirmands on Wednesday nights, what that struck me as was a reminder of something that's really important for us to hear. Even good things, things like work or family, even good things can become idols when they stop us from taking God up on the invitation to join his banquet. Surely there are all sorts of reasons, and some get listed in the parable, that aren't as good. But hey, I've got business to attend to. People, animals, crops who are relying on me. Those seem incredibly reasonable. And yet, if they come before God then you and I are not in the right place. The king has sent out an invitation that you and I would do as those first disciples did, to drop everything and follow. Now, thankfully for us, so very often in life, the call of God comes to us and we're allowed to continue on with the other vocations, the other responsibilities that God has provided us. But we all also need to remember that even the good gifts that God has given to us are not things that should overwhelm his invitation to come and celebrate with him. Now, in this parable, that's a grand thing like salvation. But for us, we might face temptations to even have those things come before God's invitation to meet him in his house on a weekend for worship. It's an important thing for us to gather there, to be reminded that this king who through a banquet provides the invitation by giving his son so that you and I would have this free invitation to come and join the grand banquet of heaven. And it's important for you and for me to be gathered in God, God's house often to be gathered around his word, to be reminded of that message, to have a place where we bring the struggles and trials and mistakes of the past week and to be set free again. We're going to use as our closing prayer today, the prayer that's right in the inside of our hymnal. This is the before communing prayer. We pray. Dear Savior, at your gracious invitation, I come to your table to eat and drink your holy body and blood. Let me find favor in your eyes to receive this holy sacrament in faith for the salvation of my soul and to the glory of your holy name. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. 
Thanks for taking time. God's peace to you. And I look forward to seeing you soon, heeding together the invitation of God to come to his banquet.